traditional Indonesian attire. Us included? Yeah. Yes, of course. Here's a fun fact. Listen up. Indonesia is made up of five major islands. Sumatra, Java, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, and Papua. But these are only five of about 17,500 islands. Again, 17,500 islands that make up the country making Indonesia the largest archipelago in the world. And what we have lined up for you next is a celebration of a diverse cultures, representing some 273 million, 273 million people across the nation behind the fashion of Indonesia. Exactly. Our designers have been hard at work to produce for you the Nusantara catwalk a modern take on traditional attire from various parts of Indonesia, blending the riches of yesterday with the trends of today. The pieces you'll see modeled here today are worn in rituals, ceremonies, or formal events. I know it is a dream of mine personally to wear a gabaya, which you will see in the show, to my own graduation. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to have that dream realized. Okay, when will you graduate, Christy? Next year. It oh. doesn't seem like, oh my goodness, next year. It's so, so soon. And I don't know about you, maybe some of you here are part of the COVID high school graduation COVID generation. School, yeah. So unfortunately, I graduated, maybe fortunately, fortunately, <laughs> we were still able to have a graduation, but on Zoom. Zoom it is. Zoom days. So I didn't get to wear a gabaya then, but hopefully next year I will. You will. <laughs> And to the Indonesians in our audience, as our models grace the stage, keep a lookout for hints of your region's traditional clothing. All right, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the 2023 Indonesian Food Festival, 
Nusantara Catwalk brought to you by the ladies and the next generation of the Indonesian community in Ontario. Enjoy. Thanksgiving ceremonies or Rambutuka and Black are used for morning ceremonies of solo signs. Number five is in traditional wedding attire from Central Java. Black symbolizes wisdom and perfection in traditional Javanese philosophy. So the traditional Javanese wedding dress does look different from the typical Western one. By wearing black, it is hoped that the married couple's household will always be bestowed with wisdom and perfection. Likewise, the embroidered gold decoration symbolizes the sustenance and wealth that will be achieved in the household. Kabaya Bali, the typical Balinese clothing that is worn by the Balinese people every day, makes this island of the gods feel thick with culture. Balinese clothing varies greatly, even though from a naked eye the clothes look the same. Each region in Bali has its own characteristics and ornaments. It is also based on traditional activities or ceremonies. Gender, social status, and age. To preserve Balinese culture, you can start by recognizing the traditional clothing of the region. Now we move on to number seven and eight, which is representing the Kabaya and Zin Badaw. The indigenous peoples of Badawi are known as a society with flexibility in the development of cultural characters within it. The presence of Chinese communities in the midst of Badawi society resulted in the melting of Badawi and Chinese cultures, eventually resulting in new fashion products. One example is the Badawi and Zin Kabaya, which is also commonly referred to as Kabaya Nyonya. Because the type of Kabaya is often worn by married ladies, Nyonya, this is a term for Chinese descendants who are married. With this, the Bayan theme can be literally interpreted as Kabaya worn by aunts or married ladies. Number 9 and 10, traditional dress of Sumatra Barat. Indonesia has a variety of traditional clothes with their own beauty in each region, including the traditional clothes of West Sumatra. West Sumatra traditional clothing is a synonymous with bright and striking colors that add elegance to the wearer. Traditional clothing of South Sumatra Aisam Besar is dominated by red with gold threads from woven songket. This golden and sparkling element corresponds to the image of Sumatra in the past known as Sawarna Nipa or Golden Island. Asha Kedir dress for the bride in red Baju Kurung. Yes, we move on to Baju Kurung which is a traditional dress from Jambi, which is a province of Indonesia. Its capital is located on the east coast of central Sumatra and spans to the Barisan Mountains. Baju Kurung Tangguk is traditional dress that is usually worn by men and women of the Jambi community for weddings, made typically from velvet cloth. Number 13 and 14, Kabaya Modern. As the name implies, modern Kabaya is a Kabaya with more modern. 
modern touch. The shape and pattern are not as absolute as the original Kabaya. There have been changes in some part of Kabaya, including in terms of decoration, materials, styles, and fashion, began to follow the existing trends. And last but not least, number 15 and 16. The pattern of this traditional dress of Daya is quite lively because it varies and has variety of colors. The cool materials still come from bark with the headers in the form of unique red crown of feathers. At first, the Dayak tribe only recognized two types of clothing, namely King Baba for men and King Bimige for women. Both of these clothes are made by processing the bark to make it soft to resemble cloth. The processed bark is called Kapuo Ampuro. That said, the skill of processing wood in clothing is passed down from generation to generation from the ancestor of the Dayak tribe. Wow, that was spectacular.